law or written law were some kind of um, element that could um, um, bring problems, okay? And why he was saying that? Because it was a very slow process, okay? That it was very expensive, etc. So that was the reason why they were very interested in giving a lot of power to police and also to the SS guards, because they will be the ones to punish hardly, you know, uh, prisoners, and that will prevent other people to become into criminals. So they have this rough idea. So that was the reason why, obviously, these um, SS young soldiers, okay, um, they were somehow educated in the way that they could um, mistreat prisoners without having any kind of, I would say, uh, of a wrong idea. Um, so they were basically um, in the, in the uh, watchtowers that you can see in all the perimeter. And sometimes they were basically um, um, getting bored. Um, so they had some games. One of these games was, for example, um, taking a cap of one of the prisoners and throwing it inside okay, of what it was called the neutral zone. You have two, uh, I would say, two choices. The first one is to just uh, not cross the neutral zone, okay, and then you are going to be punished, as the drone have shown you before, okay, 25 times um, in your back and um, by a couple, or crossing the neutral zone. What will happen to you if you cross the neutral zone? That you're going to be immediately shot, okay, shot. What happened with these um, um, soldiers? In um, SS guard, sorry. In case that they were able, okay, to kill you inside of the neutral zone, they will be get paid or they will have one day vacation, okay? So that was the reason why it was some kind of a common play or a common game, okay, to mistreat um, prisoners inside of the concentration camp. In the other hand, that is uh, an electrified uh, fence. And in between the electrical fence and the wall, there were always dogs and SS guards um, walking all over the perimeter of the concentration camp. So you realize that escaping from this place was not very easy. And you know perfectly also at the same time that if you try to escape, five prisoners of the concentration camp will be randomly um, selected and hung in the center of the camp. Um, so there was also some kind of a cause effect in between the prisoners. So um, um, any kind of, I would say, um, uh, uh, bad behavior will also cause, you know, a punishment in the rest of the prisoners. So there was not a unified, I would say, um, um, environment in between the prisoners.
camp and station set. Um, this is, for example, the uh, crematoria oven that was outside, the one that we have seen before from 1941. And here we can see the picture of station set. We were walking through this execution trench. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we can see this former construction. This is a uh, picture taken in 1945 um, during the uh, releasing, okay, the liberation of the camp. And here we have the uh, inside of this place. Okay, um, and these pictures taken in May, June 1945 by the Red Army. Um, here, for example, we can see um, the, the destruction when it was blown up in uh, 1953, okay, and the reconstruction of this memorial in 1961. So this is a, some kind of brief history of this place. And I would like to show you um, basically um, these pictures, okay? So here you can see uh, the entrance. Um, so we have seen here, for example, these um, stairs, okay, that mm -hmm. was, this is the inside of what? Of the gas chamber. When it was developed, the gas chamber, in 1943. So 1942 is the year when the uh, uh, final solution is going to be implemented. What kind of poison they were using? Cyclone B. It is some kind of a solid element that in contact with high temperatures, like they need 60 degrees, okay, um, the, uh, it creates some, some kind of a reaction, making it um, like um, trying to threaten that you were swallowing balls of fire, okay? So that will be um, the horrible death um, of many Jews um, in the extermination camps. But they were considering that it will be 1947, the year when we'll be able to eliminate the 11 Jews, 11 million Jews that were living in Europe. Okay, so in this um, 1942 meeting, okay, they will uh, basically see how many Jews were living in each country occupied by the Nazi regime and how many years it will take for the complete annihilation of the germ of the of the Jew community um, so that was the reason why in 1943 they knew um, because the war was not going on properly you know to for Germany that they will need to create a new technology to make it quicker than um, this elimination so that was the reason why this is some um, kind of a, I would say prototype okay to improve the methodology Okay. So instead of using cyclone B solid, they were using um, liquid. Um, so here, for example, we have Paul Sakowski, and what he's doing, as you can see, is pressing, you know, this kind of box um, um, with a bottle um, with um, liquid cyclone B, and this liquid will get inside of the shower, mm -hmm. and in contact with hot water, it will create this powerful reaction that it was stronger and more effective rather than the ones used in the big um, gas chambers in Poland. Um, so that was the reason why they were considering this place as some kind of a prototype, prototype experiment for the killing of prisoners. Um,